This is quite possibly the world's most popular saltwater pattern. To tie it, we'll start off with some white thread cutting the excess free. We'll then grab some dumbbell eyes, and unlike what I'm doing here, secure it to the upper side of your hook shank. You can secure it tightly in place by taking figure eight patterns around the dumbbell eyes, ensuring that they're even with the hook shank, and increase its durability by adding a small amount of super glue to your thread wraps. Continue securing with your thread until it's seated snugly in place. With this complete, we'll wrap back slightly into the bend of our hook, grabbing some clear D-rib. Secure the D-rib to the hook shank, wrapping back towards the bend of our hook. With this secured snugly in place, we'll grab some sort of flash. Here I'm using a pearl lateral scale. Secure the flash, wrapping back towards your D-rib, before returning your thread back up towards our dumbbell eyes, smoothing out any inconsistencies in the body that may have been left behind. At which point, we'll grab our lateral scale and begin to wrap it forward in closed touching spirals, and continuing to do so until we reach our thread. At which point, we'll secure it tightly in place just in front of our dumbbell eyes. Snip your excess free, grabbing your vinyl D-rib and wrapping it forward once again in closed touching spirals and continuing to do so until we reach the dumbbell eyes. And if you'd like to win this fly, comment hashtag flies in the comments below. Secure tightly by taking thread wraps both in front as well as behind the wire and snipping the excess free. Now that we have everything tightly secured in place, you'll want to twist your dumbbell eyes back up towards the top of the fly. And of course I'm kidding. Unlike me, you should start with your dumbbell eyes on top of the fly, as this fly is meant to ride inverted. Doing what I'm doing here will decrease the durability of this pattern, and it would be best to retie. However, I couldn't be bothered to do so. With our dumbbell eyes re-secured in the correct position, we'll invert our fly pattern and grab some synthetic deer hair. Measure it to be about two times the hook shanks in length and secure it tightly to the top of your fly by taking a loose thread wrap around the deer hair. Before tightening down too much, you can reorient the deer hair towards the top of your fly before securing it tightly in place. With this complete, we'll snip the excess free and separate the deer hair to either side of our hook shank. We'll grab some crystal flash here I'm using pearl, securing 6 to 10 strands on top of the fly pattern. Secure tightly in place. Snip the excess free. Grabbing your whip finisher to secure everything tightly in place. Snip your thread free and trim up the flash to length. I like to keep mine a bit longer than your deer hair. We'll then paint over the head with some UV resin to increase its durability and fix it in place with a UV light. And this is Crazy Charlie's variation of the Clouser Minnow, specifically intended to be used for bonefish. However, it works just as well for stripers or any predatory fish that's eating small bait fish. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.